Uh, today we thought we'd do something a little bit different and we would try to make traditional Scottish shortbread. Yes. We thought we'd have a little bit of a competition. Both of us made shortbread with our grands when we were young. Yep, it's like a Scottish tradition to watch your grand cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. Between tablet and shortbread. But we're not brave enough to try tablet. Not yet, yeah. no. <laughs> the recipe that we found, it was online, so we just typed in Scottish butter shortbread. So we just found one that looks about right. Yeah. And um, we're going to make our own. We're not allowed to help each other. No. No helping. No helping. What if I slip extra salt into yours or something? No sabotaging. <laughs> no sabotaging. Can I just say how good my Joker apron is looking? But I would like a tin of shortbread. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready? Have you washed your hands? I've been petting him to keep him calm. Wash your head. Okay. That means you're going to start ahead of me. I need a knife. I get the scales first. <laughs> it's not a race. It is though. 225 grams of butter. I need, now we left the butter out for a little while so it's nice and soft. 3225. Ah! 226. No. Yeah. 225. That is it. a lot of butter. That's how that much butter is left from that one slab. Essentially a whole one of this. Oh. A lot of butter. Okay. You're just going to cheat this whole way, aren't you? Why are you so close to me? I'm trying to use the scales. I'm not, you, I was here and you came over. <laughs> oh, I'm mean, off and off in here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to help you. Oh, I'm way over. I'm <laughs> I forgot how much I was putting in. I shouldn't have said it. You shouldn't have said it. Damn, I missed an opportunity there. He did it. He had 234 and kept putting it on. And I, sh I shouldn't have corrected you. No. Come on. It's not a race. It is a race. Right. What's next? 110 grams of castor sugar. <gasps> oh no! You went over. No. Oh no! no. I need this one. <laughs> This is going to get really competitive. <laughs> now then, calm down. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what on earth? It took a little while to catch up. Ah! I'm going for a shaking technique <laughs> for the sugar. Marilyn, can you get your face out of here? You're not having any of my sugar. Oh my this god. Is not my sugar. <laughs> now, this is the problem is here. It says a pinch, a tiny pinch of salt. What do you define as a tiny pinch? Because you. Ow! A tiny pinch. Okay, a tiny pinch of salt. Mm. That's not a tiny pinch of salt. That? Yeah. Don't do anything whilst I'm looking for stuff. I'm going to cheat. Because <laughs> I'm going to use my potato masher. <laughs> I don't think this was a good idea. The plan was to try and mash it together with a potato masher, but it's just, it's just this, but maybe if I keep going, it'll work out fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is, this is a good idea on my part. This was not one of my best ideas. I'm having to get my hands in now. Yeah, see, I remember my gran just sticking her hand right in. Oh no! Choice. You're not allowed to look over and cheat. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm mixing it all together. What are you doing? Let's just have a look at mine and have a look at Kurt, shall we? Now this is mine. 
That's the butter, the castle sugar, and a pinch of salt kneaded together. This is Kirsten's. <laughs> Can't you keep yeah. your hands on it too much or the butter starts to melt? Well, not the top of it. You said that we're not allowed to help each other and now the damage is done, you dare. <laughs> okay, next up, we need to mix together the flour and the cornstarch, or corn flour, maybe cornstarch in America, um, and then sieve that into our butter paste thing. Are you good to go? I need to wash my hands. <laughs> See, I'll be nice and get Kirsten the bowl, and when she comes out, she can be ready. She would not do that for me. So you need 225 grams of plain flour. <laughs> get down. 225 grams of plain flour and 100 grams of corn flour. What are we doing? 225 grams. Yes. Ooh, why is yours in a bowl? Because you have to mix that and that together before you then put that in there. Do I have to mix it together before... Oh, it's spillage. <laughs> lost some. That gives me an advantage. I haven't lost any yet. Look at the mess. <laughs> right, are you done? Can I have this? Oh my god. And I'm putting my cornstarch in with my flour. And before I serve that in, I'm going to mix it together. <laughs> Look at my pretty mountain of flour and cornstarch. And you're making a mess! <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> I'm not using the spoon. I'm just going right in with my hands. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> if you are a baker and you know how to make shortbread properly, <laughs> I, we're so sorry. <laughs> you're probably watching and screaming. <laughs> what are they doing? The next instruction says to flour a surface. So I'm just going to flour the table here. Because she's already covered it in flour. And then it says to knead it. I don't know what kneading means. Okay, I oh. think I've kneaded mine enough. Whatever kneading means. I essentially gave my mix a massage. <laughs> Look how much fire though. You're building a snowman, that's a bit much. Oh, yeah, I, I don't think, think it I is. Think your method's not very good. Whereas I, I didn't go for too much, I just went for a light sprinkling. And then I essentially massaged it, whereas Tony's kind of punching his, so I don't know. <laughs> this is how I give a massage. <laughs> Next is putting it into the, the tray. So I've decided I'm going to put, um, what's this called? Baking paper, parchment, um, in the tray, and then I'm going to put the shortbread on top of it. Whereas I'm not going to do that, I am going to grease my tray um, and then put the shortbread mix in I'm going to grease it with the leftover butter from the beginning of the recipe. See, I'm second guessing this now. I might not. Too late. The baking paper. Too late, you made a decision. I never remember my grand doing it on baking paper. Too late, you made a decision. That's what you have to do. <laughs> I'm gonna grease it. She's <laughs> stolen my idea. Um, I came up with the idea I'm gonna grease it with the leftover butter that I have. Are you gonna do a pattern? Yeah. Now you see this is a big bit that I this is the main thing I remember from my gran putting a pattern in the top of the shortbread. Yeah, my gran used to to a fork, I think, and yeah. then prick little holes in it all the way round. Whereas my grand used to put thumbprints all the way around the outside, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so she was like, this bit's mine, this bit's mine, this <laughs> no, no, bit's no. mine. You will see what I mean. I have to say that does not look pretty. Not finished yet. Whereas I'm going to go for, I think, little fork patterns. 
Right, well what I'm doing is I put my thumbprints round, I'm now scoring it into pieces so when it bakes, you should be able to just break it off into the right bits. And I'll show you in a second. So I'm gonna score mine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just so you know, it's easy to break. Oh, she's <laughs> such a cheat! So this is what mine looks like now. Thumbprints, scored, and forks. But this is what mine looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's 45 minutes. 45 minutes, yeah. Okay, mine on the bottom. Let's do this. Okay. It's ready. Here we go. This is my one. Mine's is a bit burnt around the slice. Okay. No. I think that's more of an oven thing than anything else. We left them in for a bit of time. Okay. Right. It smells good. They smell right, but you can't see any of the decorating that I did. And very little of what I did. Now, what I think I'm going to do now, whilst they're still hot, I might prick a few holes in mine to get well, that. That's a good loop. idea. No copying. No. But, on a similar note, what I might do <laughs> is prick a few holes in mine. I can still see the scores where I scored it. Right, so we're going to let them cool down now. I you might sprinkle some sugar on top well, of mine. Well, you are supposed to. I'm um, going to sprinkle some castor no. sugar <laughs> on top of mine. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> Just a little bit. Just, you know. Because it hasn't got enough sugar in it, you see. Yeah. And it could do with a, a bit more sugar. <laughs> the cast is So you can see it's a bit burnt around the edges. It doesn't look the prettiest. This is mine. Again, it is burnt round here. But I think that's more the oven. That was the back of the oven there. It's not burnt round this side, so I'm gonna guess the back of the oven. Mine's isn't as dark in the centre as Kirsten's was, but mine's was on the bottom shelf. And Kirsten's was on the top shelf. However, we'll just have to let them cool. I don't know if I can wait that long. You can. Just a crumbs. Just taste. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 15 minutes have passed. It's still a bit warm, but it's cooled down. So I think we can probably cut into it and see what it looks like. Now that they've cooled down, they really are... Well, there's, yeah, there's a bit of a crunch as I'm cutting into it, so that's a yeah. good sign. Kirsten is about to try a piece oh, of her shortbread. no, look, look. Don't think that's right. Bite into it and find out. You baked it. Okay. The top layer is definitely the right kind of chocolate crunch. The rest. I'd say that's more our oven than your bacon. Yes, let's blame the oven. <laughs> <laughs> now Tony is going to cut into his. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely softer in the middle again. Gosh darn it! I think yours is going to be better than mine. What happened there? Yeah. <laughs> Broke. Yours looks like the same as mine. Yeah. It's a bit soft in the middle. Yeah. Not quite as crumbly as it should be. However, it does taste like shortbread. So Tony's is the same as mine, whereas in the middle of that bit there isn't quite cooked. What well, hasn't quite done. Yeah. So both of ours have got kind of burnt at the outside and not cooked on the inside as well as it could be. If you are a baking guru, tell us 
where we went wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it was to do with the kneading or the flour. So we did, something went wrong. Help us! Help please! <laughs> but we need to decide a winner. It's me though. It's me, I think. Look at that. Look at that burnt crust, that uncooked center. <laughs> look, look at that, that nice bit biscuit that, that feels like biscuit. <laughs> we tried. We tried. We tried. That was fun. Next time we're going to try tablet. Yeah. At some point we will will attempt tablet. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, you're probably squirming in your seats with all the things we were doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but till next time. Bye, bye humans. humans.